Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and today I wanted to make a video talking about the current uh, drop in price, pretty large drop in price of Bitcoin, almost at 10%, we're sitting at about 7.2% drop in the last 24 hours, starting to see some support possibly at 7300, but we'll have to wait and see, uh, but I wanted to talk about why exactly the market is crashing and whether or not the market will continue to crash or what are the other scenarios that could happen. So. If you guys enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe if you guys aren't already. Uh, we post daily cryptocurrency content twice a day, so definitely stick around for more if you like that kind of stuff. But um, getting into the video, 73.35, uh, we've dropped quite a lot in the last two days and uh, a lot of people, including myself, are fearful that we will continue to drop even more, right? Um, some of the reason why we may be dropping is directly because of this story the u.s launches criminal probe into bitcoin price manipulation and seeing this uh, i definitely do not have a good feeling about it um, anytime the government gets involved especially if it's something against the law or something looked down upon uh, manipulating this market um, they can definitely have quite an impact in my opinion um, and the impact is not going to be positive as especially at first, I don't think. Uh, you know, the Justice Department opens investigation into illicit trading agencies working with CFTC, which oversees crypto futures. Okay, so <clears throat> they're looking at both crypto futures and cryptocurrency because basically the thought is that uh, people with a lot of money, they're using things such as fake orders uh, to establish an illusion that the market uh, there's a lot of buyers and the market is a bull market and then basically canceling those orders when it gets close to being filled so some of the things that are being used to influence prices are spoofing flooding the market with fake orders to trick others into buying and selling and um, yeah I mean it's just it's a little nerve-wracking to see this because I do think that once we have um, regulation in cryptocurrency it's going to be a lot different than we uh, you know are used to it being now so um, right now it's a global market where you can use all these random exchanges that are you know Binance Bittrex Qcoin like these exchanges are pretty random um, but if we see the US regulate it and governments start to regulate it I think we'll see first off less volatility um, due to the fact that there won't be a manipulation happening as much. Um, we're going to see lower prices, lower growth, slower growth, uh, excuse me. And honestly, it just, it's, it's nerve wracking to see this because um, the market will just completely change once uh, we see the government actually regulate these markets. So uh, right now, they're basically putting a probe into the markets and they are focused on illegal practic practices that influence prices, right? So authorities worry that virtual currencies are susceptible to fraud for multiple, multiple reasons. Skepticism that all exchanges are actively pursuing cheaters, wild price swings that could make it easy to push valuations around and a lack of regulations like the ones that govern stocks and other assets. I definitely think that we will see regulation eventually. There's no doubt about that. It's just that uh, at the moment we're, that we're at now, considering that, so let me jump into trading view real quick. Considering that we're already in some sort of a downtrend in the past, you know, six months. Considering we're already trending down, um, it's not good to see this because I fear that it will continue to push the price down, possibly to lows of something like three, four, or 5,000, uh, depending on what that regulation is. Obviously, the regulation won't come for a while either way, so uh, I think we should see bull movement soon, but um, it really depends on what happens with this. Uh, Bitcoin extended its Thursday decline after Bloomberg News reported the investigation and was down 3% to 7409 as of 9.32 a.m. London time. It's down more than 20% since a May 4 peak, 
Such concerns have prompted China to ban cryptocurrency exchanges and nations, including Japan and the Philippines, to regulate them, contributing to a slump that has sent Bitcoin below $8,000 this year. Still, digital coins continue to be a global investment craze, drawing legions of loyalists to industry conferences, generating celebrity endorsements, and increasingly attracting the attention of Wall Street. So one thing that will be good for regulation is it's going to bring new money into the market. So my prediction for what happens with regulation what happens uh, in the next, you know, in the coming months, coming years, when we do see U.S. regulation, which we for sure will see, wherever we are at, I expect to most likely go down and then start to move up slowly as we see institutional buyers uh, come into the market. Uh, possibly move up quicker than that because institutional buyers will want to get the lowest possible price, and I'm sure there will be a lot of institutions buying up um, <clears throat> cryptocurrencies. So obviously there's some good parts to regulation um, in cryptocurrency. We'll see new money. But, uh, you know, it's regulation has pushed the market down. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we saw it with China, Japan, Philippines, some other countries as well. Um, having regulation does push the price down for sure does put somewhat of a hindrance on the market in general and uh, it's not the best thing to see but um, we will have to see what happens with this and um, you know just go from there honestly there's really nothing we can do about it and currently it is kind of having quite the hindrance on the price of Bitcoin pushing it down however we are starting to see it break up from uh, that supported about 7,300 already back at 7,500. So hopefully we'll continue to push up, but there's really no telling what the price will do at this point. Um, one of the worries is that, uh, Bitcoin futures are being manipulated as well. Basically people are manipulating the price of Bitcoin and then buying futures saying it's going to go up. They manipulate it to move up. They cash in on their futures. They um, buy a future that it's going to go down. They manipulate the price down and then they cash in on their futures again. So um, there's a lot of manipulation going on for sure. I do think that's very, very possible. I mean, a lot of these large price uh, falls, falls in price are, of course, in my opinion, large people with a lot of money selling, selling off, right? Uh, people with big money, whales. Uh, large investors selling off and causing the price to jump down. Um, who knows if it's coordinated? Who knows how much manipulation is going on? But there's definitely something going on. Um, so we will have to see. So guys, honestly, Bitcoin crash in 2018. Uh, we will have to just wait and see. The U.S. regulation matters. Currently, we are actually in a wedge. So hopefully, you know, we could still move up and break out of the wedge um, just because you know this is how the crypto market performs maybe we're just seeing more volatility but there's really no telling we just have to wait and see and hopefully that does not happen if it does however i would look to buy around uh you know somewhere around three three thirty two hundred and forty five hundred and possibly uh, 5,000. So some low supports there for you guys if the price does fall that low. I don't think we'll go any lower than about three grand uh, if we do ever end up at that point, but um, just some uh, prices that you guys could definitely pick up Bitcoin at if we start to fall. So um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think about Bitcoin crashing even further in 2018. Uh, to be honest, I expect to reach anywhere from 15 to 25K this year. I think that would be great growth for Bitcoin and the market in general. See a lot of steady growth <clears throat> and allow for the market to stabilize and start to see some uh, real reliable and uh, stability, st stable growth. Excuse me, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's honestly my opinion. But if we drop down. You know, that's that. Either way, I do expect to push back up. This market's not dying, so uh, we just have to see what happens long term. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.